Ganesh Haloi's dreams perhaps began when he lived as a little boy in Bangladesh. And uh, he went through a very troubled childhood thereafter because of partition they had to move to Ranaghat and he was a refugee living in the refugee camp for a while before moving to Calcutta. He began his career actually as a figurative artist. Where he did significant work was in Ajanta Elora, where he went and he copied the, the murals of, on the walls and gradually started, uh, you know, he, he found himself drawn towards abstraction. What we see as abstract paintings, you know, this beautiful, um, uh, call it landscape if you will, but it's almost like, a, like an aerial view, you know, and uh, from the distance you can see this, uh, this vista of say fields, uh, of, you know, lime green or, or even dark green, sometimes blue. On the one hand, showing things from, uh, from far away, let's say, and on the other hand, there are little elements that draw your attention to the immediate or the urgent. It's like, it's like that is also present. The present and the past coexist. If you really see them from his perspective, you will understand that these landscapes contain that little post office, that little school that he went to as a child. So he talks about these memories of his that are contained within these landscapes. The, the topography that you see is from a distance. It's like, uh, it's like a story that you're remembering uh, in your mind almost nostalgically. very consciously uh, chooses a palette that has to do with uh, with nature it's it's very beautiful it's very meditative it's like um, it's very quiet it speaks of an introspective mind he is a very very important abstract artist in our times but he talks about his own work um, in a very different way you know he talks about Roop or Roop, Shima or Shima. I mean, these are elements that come into his, uh, come into his work. And it's interesting because uh, these are terms that contradict themselves. And these contradictions, he says, comes within uh, the fabric of his art.